And hello, welcome everyone to this video. So in this video, I'll try to walk you through how to use a Samba server on Windows. So Samba server Windows 10. So uh, what you can do, okay, uh, let's see. Connect to Windows shares. This is what you usually do. This is the conventional method. And, it, and the thing is that it may or may not work because, uh, let's cancel the print. It may or may not work because um, the Samba server, well, the Samba server I have doesn't have a username and password. Okay, it's a very simple Samba share folder, and it's mounted over here. So you go you, normally what you do, what you do, you go to um, this PC or network. You go and type at network location, and you can specify the network location as follows. You need to double backslash one. Uh, type your IP address, which is here. Then of course uh, you type in your folder, which you see me having done before. But you you have to take a look at this on your Linux machine or wherever you're hosting your Samba from. Just click next, and then uh, you may run into a problem, and then you ask for network credentials. Now, if you have your network credentials set up, this won't be a problem. You can just click OK with your username and password. But Windows being a Windows is not very flexible. It will always ask for username and password even though the actual Samba server does not need a username and password. So uh, the folder entered does not appear to be valid. Please choose another. So that's Windows for you. So how do you work around this? Uh, well, let me show you the website. How to mount Samba server Windows 10 without password. Okay, so this is the, the one. All you need to do is to use this command in your command uh, prompt. Now, uh, my command prompt, I like to bring it up using control alternate T. I, showed, I have a, another video where I show you how to add that shortcut. Uh, and this, this is the only thing you need uh, to mount that Samba server. So you use the command net use with spaces in between them. Your first argument here will be the drive letter on Windows. In this case, it is X. Then you need to tap, type in your, your Samba server. You need to tap, type in your Samba server uh, and, the, and the share folder. And then you specify that the username and password are as follows. Here, there is absolutely nothing at all. So let's, let's bring this out. Let's use, uh, I'm going to put it on drive X, just like, the, like, just like this guy suggested. 192 one or this guy or gal I don't know who it is uh, one uh, and then I type the IP address and uh, type samba share haha now I'll put the user with a forward slash okay uh, and password also there's nothing so if, if everything goes well it will say command completed successfully and your samba share will be on this drive X okay so uh, that's all uh, if you want to mount your Samba server without username and password. Thank you.